um, no, really, the Department of Mental Health, these MedStar hospitals, these fucking thugs have to stop coming here. Like I said in the YouTube just this morning with these huge metal hollow tubs, they are ripping it up underneath these floorboards. Then the fumes, and then there's always people that just fucking flood in here after all. It's a pattern. My eyes are like really puffy from the constant chemicals. These uh, carbon monoxide alarms don't go off. I knew they wouldn't because these fumes are something completely different than that. Nobody has the respect for me to tell me what I'm being exposed to. And the... The police, fire, and their Department of Mental Health have to stop coming in here and chasing me around the house. I look so fucking terrible. This is so degrading for me to look like I do every day, get hit with this most noxious fumes. I'm just racing back and forth from my bedroom to my bathroom. Then I'm in there and it's just filling up in the bathroom. There's events that occur when I'm in there when there's fumes being filled in my bathroom that I'm still not able to talk about. And my end of the bargain here is I can't be sitting in here alone having this many people walk in the front door, everybody bearing a key, and then coming and knocking on my door declaring that I have a mental health crisis. This is my end of the bargain, all right? I'm already destitute. I'm denied employment. This is becoming so upsetting to me. If I had the resources, I would be out of here like that. Okay, they know that. These are all men that are coming in here. They're all strangers. Everybody is completely different every time. These are not the same two men that were here yesterday. I can ID both the men from yesterday and the ones here today. This one gave me his name. I do not feel sorry for what kind of regret these men have now that their uh, bullshit they were trying to pull did not work. That's regret. That's like buyer's remorse. You're the one that bought that item. You're the one that came in here and committed the crime. This is a fucking federal crime scene. There is so much havoc going on underneath these floors and the fumes. I'm getting sick. You can see I look like crap. I'm okay though, but they do make me sick. I've said this so many times, I'm not repeating it anymore. And you can tell the puffy eyes, it's called retaining water. My body retains water. It's just completely out of control, okay? Um, this guy can't be calling me. That's not how property managers, lessors, supers even function. They send you things in the mail. They have typed letter headed. I don't have to tell adults this. Go ahead and do me that service. Put it in writing because they won't. This is a federal crime scene. Today is the first day in so long that I have not smelled a corpse either on that staircase that goes from floor one up to here to my bedroom, the floor two. They stuffed something down there so fucking bad. You know it's uh, decomposing body parts. You know that. And it, 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 whoo, I'm 5'9", so I'm going up the stairs. Whoo, smelling it. I'm almost six feet tall. And it's on those stairs uh, all the time. Um, bathroom floor three. This is the first time I haven't just had been, the place been engulfed in decomposing bodies. Engulfed. Okay? Nobody can be walking in here pretending to be construction workers or property managers. This is so outrageous. Okay? It is so clear. The police and fire are protecting this crime scene. There is no question. But my end of the bargain is that these cops with their mental health department stop coming to my door saying I'm having a mental health crisis no matter what I do. Anything I say, they're right there knocking. It is so fucking scary for me, dude. These people are fucking criminals. For the last time, keep them away from me. All right, what I need is the proper authorities to come in here, get the witness who's destitute out of the crime scene, somewhere safe, and have me take depositions and, and testimony. It'll never happen as long as the police and fire are protecting this place. I've come to oh, this much, 
this much, I forget word. All right, there's so much mufflers here. Listen to that. It is hell on earth here, man. Those construction guys are over there in that house. I can't ever talk about them. I can't talk about anything that's going on around here. And it's like, if you stand on the corner, you're like, oh, what the fuck? I can't talk about it, dude. You're gonna have to come and see this shit for yourself outside. Bye.